what is up guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'll show you how to download linux on windows 10 this method is simple and you don't need the usb or cd because we are going to download it inside of a virtual machine which is going to be the virtual box the first step that we are going to make is to open a browser anything will make the work and we are going to search for the virtual box the link of the website will be in the description of the video and uh, after you go to the website you are going to click download is the latest version of VirtualBox and uh, we are going to click on uh, Windows Host and uh, wait until it uh, downloads after it downloads open it after you open it it will show it will pop up this window you are going to click on next uh, next uh, again and uh, you can choose to create a start menu and uh, all these other options and click next and uh, in the end you're going to click install wait until it installs the application and on click on uh, finish and it will automatically start so here is the application we are going to go again to the browser and uh, we are going to search for ubuntu desktop download the first search result and the, again the website will be in the description of the window and uh, here we have the latest version of ubuntu and uh, we are going to download the lts one and uh, click on download and start to download yes and uh, guys a tip if you download uh, doesn't start automatically click on uh, this download now button and uh, it will fix it wait until the uh, linux downloads after the file download is completed you are going to open uh, the virtual uh, box and uh, here we are going to add uh, our machine and uh, we are going to click on new and uh, you can name your machine i'm going to name it linux and you're going to choose the type which is linux and uh, your purchaser version which is um, for me is 64 bit you can choose yours and uh, you're going to click on next here you can choose the memory size i suggest you to choose two gigabytes okay and uh, we are going to choose create a virtual uh, hard disk now and click on create here uh, we are going to choose the vdi virtual uh, box disk image and uh, before we click on next we are going to click on export mode and uh, here we are going to choose our memory our uh, storage size i suggest you 24 uh, gigabytes because uh, 8 gigabytes is not enough and uh, click on create so here is our machine and make sure to have this selected and click on settings and then go to storage and uh, to and controller IDE click on empty and uh, you are going to click on this disk space here and uh, choose create a virtual uh, optical disk and uh, here click on add new and you're going to go to your downloads where your uh, ubuntu file is and uh, make sure to select it and then click on choose then click ok and we are ready to start our uh, virtual uh, operating system and click on start So here we are, Linux is running and uh, ready to install and uh, here you have two options, you can try Ubuntu without installing it or uh, you can uh, install it uh, in your virtual box and uh, for this video I'm going to install it, so you are going to click on install Ubuntu, you are going to choose your language, for me is English, click, click on continue we are going to choose normal installation and uh, down, download updates uh, while installing so we are going to click on continue 
Now we are going to choose uh, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Don't worry because uh, it will not erase anything because uh, it will uh, download in install inside the virtual box, not in your computer. And click on install now. Click on continue. And uh, you can choose uh, your uh, time zone, your location. So choose it and click continue. Now your name. Your computer name, your username and the password. Make sure to click on login uh, automatically so uh, it you will be always logged in. You will never forget your password. Wait until uh, it installs. After the installation is completed, click on restart now. It will restart the virtual box, not your computer, so don't worry. Click on enter to exit that menu. So here we are on uh, Linux and uh, to make uh, the display more bigger you're going to right click and uh, on the display and click on display settings. And uh, here you can choose uh, your own resolution and uh, click on apply. Uh, keep these changes and here you have a bigger screen size so this is Linux hope this video helped you to install Linux if you have uh, any questions leave them on the comments and if you need any help feel free to comment and also don't forget to subscribe so I can catch you on the next video peace out